Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Fine? Um, so I will start with a short story about how this came to my mind. Around three years ago, I was thinking about my master thesis. What would I do? What will I write about? And I'm a scout since I'm 12 years old. I was studying international cooperation and development. And I wanted to combine both. And I wanted to give something to my association. And this is how it started all. So actually, my master thesis was on how can we implement the SDGs on a scout organization. And this was the case of my organization. We were also implementing some, but we didn't have a strategy. So I'll start asking, who of you is already implementing the SDGs? Can you raise your hands? <coughs> OK, perfect. Let me tell you something. All of you are actually doing it. Maybe you don't have a strategy, but if you think, you're actually doing it. So I will start telling you a bit about our strategy. And maybe you can also implement this on your scout organization. Um, I was basing, basically um, based <laughs> on um, other scouts organization to write the thesis. But um, this has to do also with my scout organization. So I couldn't put everything there. Um, yeah, let's go. So <laughs> a possible strategy. Um, so we can find here two things that we based the start strategy on. The first one is that the national board identifies SDGs as a priority. And this was kind of easy to do, <laughs> I must say. And I'm glad that this was working on. Because as I said, uh, CNE was already implementing it. And the second one is the national board creates a strategy and defines its goal. How did we do, how did we do this? We created an SDGs team uh, in a, our organization. And the team has people from different backgrounds. So for example, uh, we have a, an environmental engineer to take the planet action. Then we have a nurse to take more like the people's action based SG one until the fourth. Um, and we have someone from the development year, area to take the SDG 16 and 17. And we work on two basic things. So the first one is awareness. We want every scout to be aware of the SDGs. We want them to know what are the SDGs and why are they important. Our association has 72,000 scouts, and we want to bring this to all of them. And the second one is the mobilization. Of course, we don't want only them to know about the SDGs, but we want them to take action. And this is what I was trying to tell you before. Actually, scouts and of course, most of all partners that are here, we are already doing it. We are taking action for it. And so I will explain how do we do this awareness and mobilization. So the first one, awareness, uh, we communicate a lot. We want scouts to know through our different social medias what are the SDGs. So, for example, on Facebook, we have 63,000 people. And we use this as a tool to tell them what are the SDGs. Also, Instagram. You know, young people, now they are on Instagram. Um, and we reach them by SDGs, by telling them about the SDGs. Also, on our magazine that is distributed to all leaders, which are about 14,000, um, we created some articles about the SDGs. The first one's about what are the SDGs, and the second one's actions. So actions to take in their local groups, because it's there that they are implementing it. And I will tell you a bit more about this after. Um, and then, of course, our, our calendars. We sell around 430,000 calendars. And this year, um, the calendar for 2020 is about the SDGs. So it's not only the scouts that are knowing about the SDGs, but also 
the rest of the community who knows the SDGs through Scouts. And then, of course, we do big national and regional events. And as I was saying you, the local groups are the most important part of it. For the big and big national events, we bring this team that, you t that I tell you, told you about. Um, okay, five minutes. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so about the mobilization. How do scouts actually take action? And this maybe can be a tricky one. So when we go to the national events, we do two things. Imagine you are the group of scouts attending this. The first part, I tell you about the SDGs. And you tell me why are they important, OK? And the second part, they create a project. They identify a local um, problem, but they also identify a solution. How can them, in their patrols, be a solution for the problem they are facing in their community? And so they know about the SDGs, they get to know about the SDGs, and they get to do something about them as well. So for example, um, OK, we created over 700 actions. Actually, most of us were doing this already. We just pointed them as, for example, I'm a 14-year-old scout, and I want to do something about reduced inequalities, SDG 10. What can I do? And so we wrote over 700 activities for all age groups for them to know exactly what to do to reach the, the SDGs. So for example, one for this one would be creating a um, group uh, um, camp um, combined with the Sea Scouts, with the Air Scouts, uh, with the community, so then we could uh, reduce inequalities. And as I told you, we are already doing it. It's just for them to understand that they need to do this to reach the global goals um, and to get to understand why is it important. Other stuff, uh, for example, our Akanak, which is our national um, scout um, uh, camp, um, we are bringing the SDGs there, so the 22,000 scouts that attend, they can actually understand what are the SDGs and take action there. Also for the MOOC, I don't know if you've heard, we are host candidates, maybe you did. <laughs> and we also want to implement the SDGs because we think it's vital to bring them to the rest of the countries who will attend. It's not just in Portugal, but for everyone. Uh, some kind of projects maybe you've heard of, Scouts of the World Award and Trees for the World. We are actually implementing the SDGs. Um, and uh, people can identify, more or less, which ones are they um, taking on. The Compromise 2030 is our compromise. And I will tell you a bit more in this slide. So tools, how can we actually implement it? Which tools should we use? I told you about the 700 actions. And these are the most important ones, I would say. But also, maybe this one. The, some of you heard about this, this uh, game. So it's a game that they go through the goals. And there's actually questions about the goals that they can respond and they can learn about this. We created two badges. And they, the scouts need to do actions on different SDGs on the different areas to get the badge. So this is going quite well. And uh, also, the Scouts for SDGs, as uh, Cynthia was mentioning before, is a really good tool. Actually, when I started writing my thesis, there was no Scouts for SDGs. So it was like working without internet, kind of. And, so <laughs> and then, of course, uh, this is a very important one, I would say. We developed an app and a website where all of the actions are listed. So for example, someone with, uh, I don't know, a nine-year-old Cub Scout, he or she goes there and wants to develop zero hunger. And he or now knows that, OK, she knows that uh, she needs to do a food bank, for example. And then after doing that, she tickles this, and we can see actually how many hours uh, they are contributing to it, 
the different parts of Portugal that we are uh, contributing it, also the different areas. Um, and we also have some news on the website so that scouts can be um, presenting their stuff, what they have been doing. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you.